हेलो एवरीवन हैव यू ऑल एवर फेल द नीड दैट डेस्परेट नीड फॉर समवन इन योर लाइफ टू डीप डाउन इन योर इनसिक्योरिटीज एंड एंजाइटीज समवन हु कम्स आउट ऑफ द ब्लू अंडरस्टैंड योर ट्रू इमोशंस एंड गिव यू द लाइफ लाइन वेल व्हाट इफ आई टोल्ड यू दैट a person mental health plays a much crucial role than having a sound iq the wound the emotional wound if left unattended if not being heard properly that carries a very profound impression on the mind of that person and that carries with him when he grows into adulthood the statement carries a lot of weight when you start considering the suicidal rate among the children in our country below the age of 15 and the real challenge is not about letting the young people a voice but the real challenge is are the people sitting the adult pe- people sitting in the room are willing to listen frankly speaking the scar of childhood memories the scar of past trauma gives a very very lethal impact on someone life when he started spiring for his dream when he started coming out of the cocoon of law love of the secure environment I am a boy from Patna, born and brought up in a joint family, a big joint family. There I have, I was getting my quota of love from my grandfather, my cousins, my uncle, my aunt. There comes the year 1987. I was into one of the best school in Patna. Everything was going fine. except for the fact that my father was in a touring job and as a kid as a child i used to see him only on saturdays and sundays off but in 1987 my mother got my first posting and i had to leave my cousins i had to leave that school my grandfather everyone and settled in one of the district in bihar life was going on i started making new friends since i was a child i was a kid i was not that grown up to think a lot i had adapted myself fortunately my father got transfer in the year 1989 things were going okay there comes the year 1993 when i just entered my teen and without even talking to me thinking about me it was decided by few of the members of the family that now i have to again go back to patna as they were feeling that i was not getting proper education i was not doing academically well but i was not being even bothered to ask i went there the same family everything was the same my cousins grew i grew but my father was not there i was too attached with my father too much to wo 2 saal ka jo gap raha 93 till 95 when my parents got transferred to patna i had a lot of emotional struggle lot of emotional struggle nayi school papa ke bina life was taking a toll on my health my overall mental health by the time my mom and dad were back in patna i was very low on confidence that irritation anger and all kind of that negativity were there in me because somehow i had lost myself i was not being able to adapt myself to that environment 
and that's not all in the same year 1995 my father had a kidney infection due to which doctor had advised him that he won't be able to carry with his job i was just 15 by the time the year 1998 came my father got infected with hepatitis b cirrhosis of liver a person who was alcohol free a person who never ever tested how alcohol smells he got cirrhosis of liver that was something which was unheard during that time i was shattered i was lost i knew that what is going to be the end result but during that time also my father was the rock support for me he always used to used to tell me ki beta mujhe kuch nahi hoga tum padhai karo don't worry about me he always used to give that warmth that affection to me but i know the reality i was not a 6 or 7 year old child that time the year 2001 31st december 6 pm when the whole world was gearing up to welcome 2002 happy new year i was beside my father cops he was no more i was just holding my hand and crying that the pain the agony was too much for me to take at that time but somehow i was pushing myself i got admission into one of the reputed institute of mba in pune university got into job got married समय का चक्र किसी के लिए नहीं रुकता है मेरे लिए भी नहीं रुका मैं भी आगे बढ़ रहा था अपने लाइफ में पैसा कमा रहा था मैरिज टू अ ब्यूटीफुल सोल एट द एज ऑफ थर्टी टू आई वॉज ब्लेस्ड विद अ ब्यूटीफुल सन हु इज नॉट यूर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड बट कहीं ना कहीं वो पेन वो क्वेश्चन हमेशा मेरे साथ रहता था कि मेरे साथ ही ऐसा क्यों हुआ वाई दिस इंसिडेंट हैज हैपन विथ मी वेन आई यूज टू सी my cousins my brother in law taking that love from the father to main bahut emotional ho jata tha in fact i had stopped celebrating any festival even after my marriage fortunately my wife was very understanding but wo pain wo agony mujhe kahin na kahin aggression mere andar aa jati thi i used to react when something happens because i was not being able to channelize my emotion i was not being able to handle my emotion in 2018 i can say it like a hindi film in 2018 3rd of december some magical thing i think had happened in my life i suddenly woke up at around 3:20 or 3:30 in the morning एज इफ मेरे कान में कोई कुछ बोल रहा है एज इफ माई फादर वॉज टेलिंग मी कि बेटा अगर मैं आज रहता आप मेरे लेकर के इतने अपसेट हो यू आर सो यू नो इमोशनली डाउन टूडन इमोशनली यू आर नॉट बैलेंस्ड हाउ डू आई हैव फेल्ट वेन माई सन हु around 5 years or 6 year of age at that time main jab kabhi aggressive hota tha main gussa karta tha i was witnessing that impact on my son he started stammering i was like main kya kar raha hu apne sath but mujhme wo shakti nahi aati thi i was not being able to come out of that trauma that pain that was the day the 3rd of december 2018. When I had decided that enough is enough, बहुत हो गया. People loves me so much. My son is there. My wife is there. मुझे अपनी मम्मी का ख्याल रखना है. 
my uncles loves me so much my in-laws loves me so much then why i am being so rude to myself kehte hain ki jab aap khud se pyar nahi karte to aap kisi ko pyar nahi kar sakte hain i had started doing self introspection that's the first thing which i had commenced in my life so chintan and i came to the root cause that i was too much attached with the situation with the people my emotion was playing a game with me and i am being trapped in my own emotion main us jaal se nikal nahi pa raha hu and then it was a clarion call for action i had started taking action for me i had completely stopped endorsing any negative things which are happening to me i have completely stopped giving the remote control of my love of my life to any situation any people wo meri zindagi hai aur main decide karunga mujhe kya karna hai जिसको सोचना है सोचे मुझसे कोई गलती होती थी मैं जाके सॉरी बोलता था हक करता था एंड आई यूज टू मूव ऑन वेन एज ए पर्सन यू बिकम द स्लेव ऑफ योर ओन इमोशन वेन यू डोंट नो हाउ टू चैनलाइज योर इमोशन इन अ पॉजिटिव वे थिंग्स आर बाउंड टू हैपन वेन यू आर नॉट रेजिलियंट एनफ to quickly adapt yourself to the challenges this the life throws these things are bound to happen and this journey of life the story of my life is not my personal one i know this thing very well otherwise people who are into big academic success who are wealthy rich they would have not committed suicide they would not have gone into depression anxiety or insecurities we witness this thing in our day to day life so what is that one thing which had helped me and which now i am using as a tool to help the people to come out of their agony pain there are hundred of things which happens to us do we do we really have control over those things i don't think so mere andar to wo control nahi tha sab circumstances pe aur main janta hu ki hamare पास वो कंट्रोल नहीं रहती है तो कंट्रोल क्या है कंट्रोल है अपने ऊपर अपने भावना के ऊपर अपने इमोशन के ऊपर काम करने का द फर्स्ट थिंग विच आई हैड डन इज द सेल्फ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन द सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट आई बिकेम अवेयर दैट दर इज अ प्रॉब्लम द थर्ड थिंग आई हैव टू सीक freedom from my own emotional slavery the fourth thing i have to be resilient enough to come out of that thing and the fifth and the foremost thing is a life of an emotional independency we often speak about having a financial freedom lot of workshop even jab hum bacche rehte hain acche schools mein jaiye marks laiye job mein aaiye start earning how often we talk about emotional independent life where we are not at the mercy of some situation or at the people don't allow anyone to play with your feelings it is your life aap apna feeling khud create kijiye even those people whom we see as a source of inspiration they have their own stories everyone goes through this phase but only those people who come out of this phase are the ones who has really control over themselves who has really control over their emotion today i am on a mission dear friends and colleagues that whatever the universe has thrown the challenge to me 
and if i really feel someone is struggling with this challenge i don't even wait for that person to come to me i lend my hand i wrote a book on the practical emotion for happy life which is amazon number 1 best seller i was someone who was struggling with my own emotion till recently and i am someone who is on a mission to make the people feel happy prosperous and more importantly mentally healthy and emotionally independent in the year 2023 or 21st century when we are all exposed to a lot of contents across the globe through social media ott platforms it is very imperative and important that we take care of our mind we take care of our thoughts we take care of our feelings especially the children the kids who are growing up i am not saying ki main apne bacche se uska marks nahi poochta hu main uske padhai ka review nahi karta hu but i make sure that i give him some lessons about the wisdom of life rejections ko kaise face karna hai unwanted situations agar zindagi mein aayega to aapko kaise shant rehna hai you have to be serene you have to be calm you have to fight with your own trust and destiny and become victorious this is not my personal story this is not my personal journey it's a clarion call for action my dear friends before i close my speech i really request to everyone hearing me out watching me out please work on an emotional freedom from your from the slavery of your own emotion please work with especially with the kids especially with the child because they are our future they are the source of our happiness they are the source of our inspiration and until and unless they don't know how to manage their emotion until and unless they don't know how to win over their mind whatever success whatever degree how much will they accumulate they won't be able to anyone cannot be able to take the real pleasure of life so with this i'm thankful and grateful to all of you for listening to me and my story thanks a lot